As a caregiver, you may have to bathe someone who can't get out of bed. This could get awkward, but it doesn't have to be. In this short video, we'll show you how to give a bed bath. We've broken the tasks down into easy to follow steps, so the person you're caring for stays clean and free of infection. Let's start. Here's what we'll need. Their favorite soap or cleanser. We recommend using something gentle. Washcloths and towels. It's best to have a few of each, just in case. Skincare creams or lotions that they like. Two wash basins or large bowls, one for washing and one for rinsing. And a waterproof bed pad. If you don't have a bed pad, a garbage bag works fine too. Before we start, here are some things to keep in mind. You can start with hot water because it will cool quickly in a bowl. You can test the water with your elbow right before you get started to make sure it's a usable temperature. Be sure to cover the areas you're not currently washing with a light blanket or towel. This helps keep the person you're providing care for warm and helps keep the process a little less awkward for the both of you. As you work, check their skin for open areas, rashes, or red areas that could be caused by pressure because these could lead to serious infections. If you're going to come in contact with blood or bodily fluids while you're giving a bed bath, be sure to wear disposable gloves. Encourage the person that you're caring for to do as much as they can. Sometimes just handing them a washcloth will cue them to wash themselves. And as always, report anything unusual to a healthcare professional for follow-up. Now we begin. First, let's start by putting the waterproof bed pad under them. If you are using a garbage bag, put a towel on top of it to absorb water and protect their skin from the plastic. Now, all we have to do is wash, rinse, and dry. Here's how we do it. With one cloth, use soapy water to wash. It can be helpful to wrap the cloth around your hand like this, but you don't have to. With a fresh cloth, use clean water to rinse. Finish by patting each area dry with a towel or face cloth. We'll start by washing their face. Remember to be gentle. Facial skin is sensitive, so avoid harsh soaps and opt for a gentle cleanser or even just plain water. When done washing the area, switch to another cloth in the clean water to rinse. Then pat dry with a towel or clean cloth. Once you get this technique down, you're good to go with the rest of them. Next, we'll help the person you're caring for wash their neck, chest, stomach, arms, and hands. Pay close attention to any skin folds or under breasts and make sure they're dried well. Being confined to bed can be very hard on the skin, so be sure to pat the skin dry instead of rubbing, like this. Now, let's wash their legs and feet. Make sure that the areas between their toes are dried very well to avoid fungal infections or skin issues. Now, we've arrived at the last part. Helping to wash someone's private areas can be a really uncomfortable task, but properly cleaning this area is very important to prevent infections that could lead to hospital stays. With a fresh cloth, start washing their private areas in the front. Always work from front to back. When you're finished washing the front, discard the used washcloth and help them to roll onto their side away from you. Putting a pillow or rolled up towel under the pad will help keep them propped up on their side while you work. Now we grab a fresh cloth to wash their back and then their bottom. If you need a more detailed tutorial, check out our other video on how to wash someone's private areas. If the person you're caring for has dry skin, it's nice to apply lotion after you're done with the bath. Assisting someone to wash in their bed does not have to be difficult. With some practice following these steps, you'll be a pro in no time. For more videos to help you on your caregiving journey, visit our channel.